I don't know. I thought it might be better than me talking through the nothing. Three concurrent viewers. Hello, everybody. If anyone replays the video, I guess I can't just wait for people to show up. I never know how that works. Maybe I should do that thing where I announce it. I could announce it first, and people would be like, ready to go. I thought I'd talk about, uh, I don't know how many of you are familiar with Transformers Animated, but these were cool little figures. Well, not all of them were little. But this one was really hard to get. This was the Transformer, Transformers Animated RC, and she was hard to get because they kind of canceled the line right there at the end. They did that for several lines. It was kind of frustrating. So there was like announced late figures that would end up at like other vendors. They just wouldn't show up at the regular stores. You'd have to track them down. But this one showed up at Toys R Us and I caught it. But it was apparently hard to do. But I always thought those figures were pretty stylish. The way they, uh, they had kind of a matte finish, although she's a little sparkly. I don't know if that really comes out. Let's see if it catches on camera. She has a sparkle to her. It's in the paint. They really used to spend a little more money on the production of the figure because the exchange rates were different and the economies were different. I mean, this was like, this would cost, this would set you back $10 and these days they can't even make it. Pretty neat. I'll transform her while I'm thinking about it. Sometimes it's easier to just take those off. They like to fall off. I haven't transformed her in a while. Yeah, this has got to flip out. So there's a little panel that actually kind of cleans up her shin, which is nice. She's a lot pinker, like more of a hot pink, but I can't really get the camera to pick out the color quite right. I tried to saturate it a little bit, but I think the camera sensor can't see it. <laughs> so it doesn't come across. How did she work? I remember you have to turn around or waist at some point when you can. Yeah. May as well do it now. Here we go. And then this would seem to... I think it sits kind of funny if I remember correctly. Um, so this must be the top of the car. Well, that doesn't line up then. Hmm. Oh, of course. They flip out, so it only looks like it's upside down. Yeah, you like that song? Was it Moody Me Now? I, I, I briefly played... The funny thing about this song is it's fortunate it's a good song because I, um... Where is it? The reason you hear that song a lot on the fancier robots is because it's just literally the longest song that I have of his. Okay. I think this has to turn around. And I remember her, what is it? Her arms do something weird. Eh, this is binding though. I gotta do the other thing first. Mm -hmm. Now she has this weird There it is. Yeah. 
So, sorry, I'm just off camera thinking about it myself, but her arms actually kind of do this, which is weird. And they join together. So it's almost like she's just covering up her face in shame. Don't look at me! I'm a car! But I love you anyway, she! I don't know. Yeah, and then when you flip these up, the pegs, that I don't think serve any other purpose, go into her hands. I'm trying to remember, there was an RC I got once where I had to like modify the hands with a Dremel. Yep, she's. She, I don't remember why, but her hands didn't work. They couldn't hold their weapons and stuff. It was like they put it in at the last minute some sort of reinforcing piece of plastic and... Yeah, yeah, these are weird because they look like smoke things, but they really just kind of cover up this gap. They're not even oriented properly to be smoke things. And then we flip around the feet. I think... I think the feet end up under the windshield. Maybe I can get the windshield out of the way for a second. Yeah, the feet have to do something to get under the windshield. They both just go to the middle. No. <laughs> that sucks. We'll try it again. What else we got? Uh, yeah, Moody says he grew up on animated. Oh, it's just upside down. There we go. Put this up. There we go. I think I was overly ambitious. I brought in four of them to show you, and I got stuck on the first one. <laughs> you son of a gun. These things really do like to fall off. There we go. Animated RC. She's like a hot pink, I swear to God. I don't know why the color can't come through. Where is my hue? I can't change it. No. I have streams where nobody talks for a long time. I'm sorry. Uh, Nathan Farhat says, glad to have caught this stream this time. That's an awesome RC, by the way. Predacon says, what's up, Helis Drew? I say, what's up, Predacon? Nathan says, careful, those hands on that RC, they're extremely fragile, especially the thumbs. See, that's what I was talking about earlier. The, it had like a reinforcing piece of plastic. God, this camera sucks. I wish it was better. I'm sorry. I think my light's too. My light's too hard. Uh, this is a terrible way to do it. What is that exposure? I am so sorry. I just wish I could get the numbers that I liked and have it work. Let's bring the exposure up and bring the gain down. Brightness. No, see, it, it, it won't get rid of the brightness. The white comes out really strong. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I thought I had this figured out, but I'm trying to show you this anyway. It doesn't matter. If I dim the light, you can see that her hands have little thumbs, and there's a piece of plastic that I had to shave off. Yeah, this is impossible. I can't show it. But yeah, the hands are delicate. You got to be careful. But they over uh, reinforce the hands, and then you can actually stick anything in the hands. Um, we'll stop talking about her. Oh, this is kind of cool. The nacelles behind her—you can actually store her knives in them. 
So that's a good feature. Voila, we have the knives stored in the nacelles. All right, let's go with something maybe easier. I think I remember this one better. It's a little more elegant. Great little figure. This is the Voyager class bulkhead. Of course, the original bulkhead was an animated and then they repurposed the character when they did Transformers Prime. But bulkhead's been around since animated or maybe there's some crazy, like, Generation 2 recolored Stunicon named Bulkhead. I don't know. All right, Moody's out. So this is, uh, this is Bulkhead. Just got to remember how he goes. He's kind of like an auto-transformer. Flatten these out. And now these will join together into the back. And then you open this up. And these are just kind of lightly pegged in. And they go like this. But they're spring loaded, so you gotta you gotta work out the rest of it. So when you move the hips back the head automatically flips over because it's linked. So that's kind of fun. And then the feet. This is super clever. I always appreciated this. The you know the feet, he's standing on his wheels. And what they do is they have like an asymmetric like off-center hinge. So you'll see where the hinge bends. In like this really weird way. But it's just a single rotating uh, joint. And by the time you rotate it around, the wheel is facing to the side. So it's just at a 45 degree angle. And this one does it too. And then it's fairly straightforward. Just take his feet and put them up in his torso. You line up the wheels with the wheel wells. And then you bring back his spring-loaded arms and they can actually peg onto the trailer. And then these flip around and up. That's another sort of 45 degree hinge. So this designer had really had his eye on that way of moving part from one place to another. Almost like a study in the technique. He does it twice. But he turns into a pretty sleek little uh, army truck. The first bulkhead was in Transformers Energon. Energon, I'm sorry. So bulkhead was wasn't he the wasn't uh, the bulkhead in Energon a like a bad guy? Green. Oh, was he the deluxe, the one that had like the backpack? Yeah, I have him somewhere. I just couldn't, I couldn't get him fast enough. So we'll go back to another rare one before we get to one of my favorite ones. But this one I had to order from Japan because he only came out in the Japanese version of the line, as far as I know. I get any people going actually but it's uh it's Transformers animated he doesn't pose great but it's blackout and it's just this crazy animated treatment of the helicopter from from the first Transformers movie as far as I know I don't rightly remember how he transforms, but I guess we'll try to transform him. This pops up, but I'm not sure what pops it up. Keep that out of the way for now. 
These definitely fold up. Um, I'm pretty sure these always end up the other way around, so I'll just go ahead and make it that way. And the hands look like they fold in. Yeah. Yeah, kind of automorphs. They're really kind of experimenting with uh, various automorphy kind of things with this line. This is like a pain in the ass. How's it go? Like this? Yeah, I think that's the only thing it can do. So I think it does that. You see all kinds of uh, artists will uh, do like renditions in the animated style of different characters like Menasaur and, and the like. And uh, I really wish they would... Uh, make more characters in the style because they're pretty cool. Yeah, this is uh, like a parallelogram swing arm. But it allows the helicopter to go from a big wide chest on the robot to a narrower, sleeker helicopter. I suspect that might be the locking mechanism for the... Not yet. <laughs> Still haven't found it. Surely I don't just have to push harder. That can't be it. Doesn't even look like it would catch on anything. Hmm. Yeah, weird. Maybe it's. Maybe it's when you flip the legs out. I don't know. I gotta get the legs. There's definitely a hinge here. So I'm pretty sure it's just a pop joint. Yeah. Cooperative. All right. And then the rotor plugs into the tail. And you get this trippy helicopter. I'm afraid he's got a little dust on him. He's been sitting around for too long. Unloved. Unrespected. All right. That's a pretty snazzy helicopter. You know, the front split's a lot like uh, the other guy from that line, the, the one they upgraded. In Transformers Hunt for the Decepticons. I did a video of it way back in the day. It was like the more realistic version of the animated figure that he's similar to. Fun story. And this is like my favorite, or one of my favorite animated figures. It's transform. If he'll hold together, he's a little, he's a little old and rickety. He need a lot of super glue ball joint joint tightening if I wanted to try to stop motion something like that. It would be. Yes. But it's Transformers animated Blur, with his wheels built into his feet. And he's got those wheels, the hubless wheels, in the back. Yeah, jetpack. I have that uh, bulkhead. I just uh, he, he's like in a box somewhere. Congratulations on having the blackout. Well, thank you. What an amazing feat. What are your thoughts on the new Transformers Earthrise line? Anyone in particular you like? I haven't seen many of them. What have I seen? Like uh, Optimus Prime, some sort of uh, construction crane thing, and uh, grapple. Is there is there other ones out? Maybe I missed some other news today. Um, I don't know. I, I have to start drawing the line somewhere, and I can't help but think that I should draw the line at most of the retail stuff. Uh, it looks like more of the same. It's decent. I mean, the Siege Optimus Prime is kind of a clever design. It's, I like some of the twists and turns in that. 
But I just don't know if it's worth it ultimately. I mean, it's not just the money, but like just putting them someplace. What am I supposed to do with them? Try to sell them, but you know, like, oh, but I got them all. <laughs> it's a sickness. Uh, something like that. This guy's got kind of an interesting mechanism. I hope I can remember it. I think this turns around. Yeah. And then you flip this over in just the right panel order. Or otherwise, it won't go in the right spot. This little head antenna just kind of tucks in that notch. I think you got to flip these over. I remember like harassing a Walmart manager to get this. All that. It was like on the pallet, but they wouldn't sell it to me because it was on the pallet. So I had to like get the manager and he was like, yeah, I'll sell it to you. So he sold it to me. It wasn't complicated. So you gotta get the leg backwards. And there's actually like a little sort of peg that not, knocks into the crotch there. An alignment peg. But it's really easy to like not realize it goes in there if you don't get it from the right angle. But it goes like that. And then you can bring the wheels forward above the legs. I don't know if I'm supposed to put everything together quite yet. But the legs actually have a joint in the mid thigh that lets you bend them this way. All right. And then you can close up the toes into what it look kind of like tail fins of the car. I like the hubless wheels, very Tron. Now let's see. Yeah, these are supposed to tab in. There's like a tab under the canopy tabs in there, but I'm just not quite sure if I'm doing it prematurely or not. Yeah, I think I overthought it. I turned his waist around a little while ago, and um, it turns out you don't turn his waist around at all. It's just It's there so that he can be posed. So now I've got to unturn his waist. Of course, I didn't get too far. But yeah, his waist. Hiya. It's a little hard to turn it around now, but. There we go. Yeah, okay. So I got his waist backwards. Same thing applies with these tabs though. They're just the other way around. All right. So now front of the car can progress up. Can you imagine trying to stop motion? I think it can be done with virtually no clearance issues, but in a very specific order, I would imagine. Those go there. There. It's like you kind of get the arms in to get things lined up. But those folded in half legs can now actually tab into the forearms, forming like the underside. The car's very speed racer in my opinion. Got a speed racer vibe. This thing slipped out again, so I have to fix it. And then we tab that in, and this flips around. And that can actually tab to the back of there. I feel like his, I mean, his hands can't be in the way because they don't turn. <laughs> They're stuck in that position. There we go. Yeah. Completely off camera. Must be a reviewer. Uh, yeah, he's got this kind of cool. It doesn't work when he's in car mode. I mean, it can pop out, but the ground is in the way. But it's a little spring-loaded buzz saw. And it's just like a, kind of a bit of a parts forming process. But he turns into a pretty cool looking 
Something something between Speed Racer and like an old Bugatti. Um, back to comments. Earthrise. Earthrise looks okay. I went over that. The Optimus Prime looks okay. Lugnut, yes. Thank you. Good. Good call. Nathan pointed out that the guy I was comparing the helicopter to for the chest splitting was Lugnut. And they did like a version of Lugnut. Um I could talk about uh pending business. I'm getting shortly uh the MMC Malum Militia Insecticon set. And so, um, maybe by this weekend I'll be shooting that. Uh, otherwise, I do still have Studio Series Long Haul, Studio Series Yellow Deluxe Guys, and uh, someone had asked, and I agreed to redo MP10 one of these days, so I'll have to get that on my list somewhere. Will I ever consider streaming in 720p? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Like right now, I am set to... My resolution is 1280 by 720. I would think that would be 720p. Unless you mean that it's not progressive somehow. I don't know. I am on 1280 by 720. Yeah, I don't know. Stream settings are... I don't know. Maybe I don't do video very good. It's a good thing I spend most of my time taking single pictures. Well, that's all I brought with wow. me today. I could wait for final questions, but I've got a I've got to turn them back into robots at some point anyway, so I'll just fiddle with them while I wait. If anyone had any additional queries or concerns. Flip that over. Turn that around. <laughs> Keep my hands in the way the entire time. Makes for a good presentation. It's like a radio program. My mother always told me I had a face for radio. Yeah, I don't know what to say, Indy. I could be doing it wrong really easily. Like, this is supposed to be like an HD webcam that I got back in the day. Even used it to shoot a video or two. And uh, it's supposedly an HD webcam, but... I always thought the video output from it was like kind of... Not great. Okay. So I can, I can see your point. Maybe it really isn't 720p, I don't know. Nathan Farhat said, are you interested in getting MP45 Bumblebee version 2? I'm skipping it, but what do I think? You know what? I like those kids over at Takara, and even when they make a figure that's got a little bit of ugliness to it, there's going to be some really fun, clever stuff to it. And I'm there. I'm in the market for the fun, clever stuff. So I imagine it'll have some cool little twists and turns that I can appreciate, even if they inexplicably decided to hide, <laughs> hide most of the car like, on the heels like Mercury and his little winged feet 
Bumblebee and his weird kibble heels. But yeah, I'm getting them. I like them. I like Takara. They haven't really let me down in the... At least in the department of things that do interesting things. Sometimes their aesthetics are a little off, but it's not the end of the world. Never know which way these... I guess they always kind of went that way. Any old way. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't get a lot of engagement, so I don't have a lot to like talk about that people want to talk about because nobody's talking to me. But I'm sitting here anyway. It's a quieter night. Don't have anything interesting to talk about per se. Yeah, it pops up automatically when you plug in the hips. I had a feeling, but I forgot to mention on the way back. Just practice just doing it by watching the screen. That way I can. I want to bring his arm forward for some reason. I can't help but think it's backwards. Like it was supposed to be like this in helicopter mode, and you bring it backwards for arm mode because it does put it in the center of the shoulder. I may as well leave that one alone. So it's right all along at that point. And these fold down. And this nestles all gently in there. Nestles. And then this can attach to his arm somehow. Oh, and it does. It's a, it's a disc shooter. So the rotary blade is, a, you know, it shoots that one disc. Which, you know, good luck if you lose the disc. You done goofed. I bet there's ones where the disc is missing. But they'd be in, like, Japan, because it's not like kids here would have figures like this. All right. That's two down, two to go. What is my favorite official MP? Now there's a good question. Let's talk about official MPs. What's my favorite one? All right. I'm going to go with MP36 Megatron. It looks great. I mean, it's got the back thing. It's fine. You don't see the back. But it's it's so clever and the way the feet work and the lower legs get wider. It's just all very, very clever. That would be my favorite official Takara MP, I think. I'll have to think about the other ones that exist. I mean, it's better than Sideswipe. I love Sideswipe, but it's better than Sideswipe. Just to, just to pick a random example. I mean, it's better than Grapple, and it's better than Inferno. It's... Better than MP44. MP44 is real good, though, y'all. I mean, people complain about the backpack, but that's basically the only problem you can have with it. And again, it's in the back. His proportions are, like, spot on for the cartoon. Yeah, so the way this works... I'm trying to remember it. So these are angled hinges. Actually, that's a third case of an angled hinge moving something unexpectedly. But when you pop these loose... That's what causes the arms to go free. So they kind of auto-morph. But, I mean, really your only goal here is to get them like this so that they're angled outwards. So, there's three angled hinges. Pretty good design. And then you got to get the feet out. And you rotate them around so the wheels are at the bottom, which is fun. Angled hinge. And then you can auto-morph his torso slash head. Like this. And then you lay, raise this part up and lock it on. 
He's a little kibbly here. And he's like, how's it going? You know, he has a... He's got another feature that I'm not going to get into, but he launches this ball. Uh, which one? What does this do? And for some reason, he's got an arm that has like a trigger and it bends. Ooh, look out! His arm bent. Oh, he's serious now. Like, oh. I don't know if you're in trouble yet, Decepticons. I'm keeping an eye on Bulkhead. We'll know. Oh, you done goofed. So I don't know what that's all about. But one of these sides, the thing launches and has like a string attached to it, if I'm not mistaken. It's like a, yeah. It's like a weird little pop launcher. But it's a pain in the ass to like recoil the string and get it back in there, so I don't like dealing with it. But you pull a lever to make that happen. All right. What stop motion on your channel are you most proud of? I mean, my favorite one to watch, just because it's like my favorite figure, is Ultra Maximus. G Creation Ultra Maximus. It was like a year and a quarter ago by now. You can find it. Peelist Drew Ultra Maximus. Easy peasy. But that thing is so fun to... It's like fun to transform. You wouldn't think so. When I first saw it, I was like, that, that looks too complicated. But then I got the opportunity, thanks to Chosen Prime, to see one. And then I ended up owning it. Such a cool figure. But it may have, it may have had QC issues. The one I have is actually cobbled together from two, like, scavenged ones. So they had their issues, but my suspicion is that it was just people were breaking it because they weren't doing it right. This is pregnant RC. Something. I don't know. Tumor? Tumor RC? Hideous melanoma RC? You could just glue them on, I suppose. But maybe you want to take them off, so. There we go. We end as we begin. An animated RC. Well, I'm afraid it's not a terribly exciting stream. I'll try to warn everyone in the in the in the details or description. Um, but some interesting Transformers animated figures. It was a cool line. It had a lot of cool ideas. He'll never stand up again. Oh, he did. Yeah. Transformers animated. If you like these, I can bring out more to show you. Because they're all kind of cool. See, now I'm getting obsessed with composition. Like, oh, let's just make sure it's exactly right. Transformers animated. All right, Nathan Farhat suggests that this is a really good question. It's very bold of him to just go ahead and say that he is. 
Or you're saying the previous one was. That would be nice. Uh, really good question. Are you sick of the new G1 stuff we have, especially for retail? The retail figures just aren't really cool anymore. They're very cheap. I don't know. There's something to be said for a figure that's got a little more like heft to it. And, you know, you don't turn it around and find a bunch of, like, hollows. Like, this guy, he's, his thighs are two halves screwed together. And, and he's, like, he doesn't have, like, hollow bits, you know? And you could take, uh, let's see if, let's see how this guy stands up when you, when you look at the back. I mean, this could be managed a little better. The Wei Zhang version would, would manage that a little bit. Turn it around or something so it's flat. But... He doesn't have hollowness in the back of his legs. He has a little weight to him. Same thing with her. She had hollowness in the front of her legs, but it was designed to like close up with a panel, which is nice. But she's not hollow in, in the back. She's screwed together and held together. And the same with him. I'm going to turn him around. But all the recent figures, even if they're clever, even if they have clever mechanisms, um, was it uh, Dropkick from Transformers Bumblebee? The car. The car does some really clever kind of like magic trick kind of stuff where you're like, oh, that's how that ends up there. But, you know, it's little and it's light and it's hollow. So I don't like it. That's why I figure I might just stop collecting retail figures altogether because they're kind of hollow. I don't know. Sometimes I post videos of them. I bet if I did like uh, stupid... Op Siege Optimus Prime, people would would watch that video for some reason. Uh, All Might says, hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm kind of... I don't have anything to riff off of here, so I'm losing my mind. I'm running out of things to say because I finished all my figures. Ooh. Let's see how far we can take this experiment. Are you ready for something crazy? Let's try it. I'm gonna do it. There I go. All right. Now I'm in the Discord. And can I add... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to do that at all. Well, I don't think it'll work. I thought maybe I could add Discord to OBS, but I'm just not sure if you can. I could say it was a game capture, but... So Mr. Lego Reviews, I mentioned it earlier, but maybe maybe you missed it because you just got here, maybe. 
But what's next is probably MMC Malum Militia, the three Insecticon MPs that MMC came out with, because I love MMC and they were on sale. Or I could do Studio Series Long Haul or the two deluxe yellow guys that turn into the arm of Devastator. Or I could do MP10 one of these days. And then eventually there will be other things coming down the pike. But nothing in particular. It's probably going to be MMC Malum Militia. Just watched Beast Machines, and I still don't like the Maximals, but they're growing on my slowly. Yeah, I never really watched Beast Machines. Um, when I first got back into collecting, um, mostly it was for RID 2000, 2001 um, figures, but there was still stuff in the stores from Beast Machines, and I was like, well, these are Transformers. I guess I'll, I guess I'll pick some up. But the toys were okay. I didn't watch the show. I do have Transformers. I might just have to Google it. This will just be a boring stream while I do things. Yeah, I don't know anything about this. <laughs> I'm looking at some instructions on how to do something, and it's like, never done that. Go back to the chat. RID-01 would be something interesting for you to do videos on, possibly some Unicron Trilogy figures, too. The problem with the Unicron Trilogy figures is a lot of them are very simple. I mean, I could showcase them like this. Um, I could dig up some Unicron Trilogy figures, I guess, but I don't know. It's just, I got, if I ever really ran out of things to do, like, you know, for some reason there's still YouTube, but the world has ended, so there's no new toys, and I gotta work my way through the back catalog, I'm gonna get to them eventually. I suppose that would be the answer. Sorry, shoot that down. It's just not likely. I've got cooler things to do. I'm sure they hold a lot of nostalgia for people. I mean, I was collecting them in my adulthood, but I'm sure kids remember the original trilogy figures. People that are, like, older now, but not as old as me. Maybe if they ever do MP versions. They should do MP versions of RID 2001. That would be perfect. Especially Rail Racer. I just want to rid Rail Racer.
I'm going to sign off my stream. I got something to go check on at work anyway. It was cool hanging out, meeting people, answering some questions. Everyone have a good evening. And I'll stream again next Wednesday. Hopefully I covered that up. Well, yeah, I have I have Primus and Unicron. I have them. They'd be they'd be a pass yes, stop motion. They're so big and heavy. You'd have to lift them up somehow to do some of that stuff. It's conceivable. I was tempted to I'll, I'll get a Mega Supreme before long from Siege. And, you know, do I try to stop motion on Mega Supreme? It wouldn't fit. It wouldn't fit on my stage. It would be kind of funny to try. All right. I'm going to sign off. I appreciate everyone attending, and I will answer any lingering questions in the chat for a couple of minutes. Farewell.